hello guys welcome back once again so in this tutorial we are going to work on the post details fragment so whenever an online user wants to see his own post details then he will just click here on any picture he wants to see the details and then we will redirect or you can send you get the user to that to that page so for that uh, here we have inside our this fragments we have this okay we have not yet created that fragment so let's just create that fragment so right click on this fragment and new and we have fragment blank fragment now first of all make sure to uncheck these two okay which says include fragment and include interface callbacks and then let's give it name as a post details fragment and then click finish So our post detail fragment file is created successfully here you can see it this is the xml file for it and let's just close the remaining activities i mean the remaining fragments that on which we work in previous video tutorials so the gradle build is running for the for the fragment that we just created let's wait for it also So now it is completed successfully now let's just minimize this and first of all make sure to change this RAM layout to the relative layout and then what we gonna do is remove this thing from here and now what we want is basically to add uh, here an app bar or you can say a toolbar so for that uh, what we gonna do is just for the time saving Go to the fragment notification.xml file and from here you can just copy this app bar whole code okay from up to here I mean just copy this and here it ends copy and paste here here you can see it now instead of notifications here we can say photo and the next thing what we want is basically after this app bar layout we need to add a come here again and just copy this recycle view and then close this and come back here and paste that here now make sure to change the id of this first so this is our recycle view post underscore details and it must be match parent rep content and margin from all side 5 dp and now let's just add this recycler view on our post detail fragment so what we're gonna do is here inside our okay first of all make sure to do this one thing and return the view and then oh sorry now here we can say let's give it name as recycler view and it is of type recycler view recycler view equals to view dot find view by id pause dot id dot now let's just quickly copy the id of it which is this one okay to copy it and then come here and we have to paste that id here recycle view dot set has fixed size to true linear layout manager it will be of type linear layout manager context okay and kotlin we do not pass the context to it just write like this okay recite dot set layout manager dot layout manager equal linear layout manager make sure to initialize this instead of 
that we can say linear layout manager I mean equals to we have to initialize it and then pass the context to it sorry for that now we have already our post adapter where basically we in which we basically write the code for displaying the post on our home fragment so we will be using the same thing I mean we have to pass parameters to that but first of all what we're gonna do is come here to the profile fragment now from here we need to copy post list instead of this we have our home fragment I mean where we are basically writing the exact code which is our post list okay this one and our post adapter so just copy both of these control C and come back here and just paste that here and why it is showing the this error okay first of all let me just check this I think by mistake I just sorry on the home fragment I forgot to do something here okay it is it is recycler view home and it is recycler view home but it is showing a bar layout what is the idea of it a bar layout if you see these red lines okay it is not an error I mean if you run the application it will not display an error because these are the same IDs all you gonna need is I mean let's just clean our project and hopefully these errors will be gone now these are not the errors I mean it is just that your project is not basically refreshed rebuild project again it still appears red but anyways it will not cause an error okay because we have given the same ID to it and I don't know why but anyways just leave it this is not an error okay when I run the application you will see it so anyways also let's create a string type variable which will in which you will store basically our post ID so we just give it name as post ID string and let's just initialize it with a null this is a string sorry for that okay string equals to now first here we have to create a function that must read all the post and then now the post basically which is relative to the post ID that is on which the user click that is let's say user user click on this picture then by using that ID which we will pass now by using the shared preferences okay so I mean using that ID we can retrieve the read the post and add it to our post list which is basically so I think we have already created this kind of function which is on our home fragment you can see these retrieve post and here we are doing it for all the post copy this whole function and we will modify it according to our needs paste it here and then here we can say dot child post dot child and pass the post ID to it so we can check that we are making the post list clear then we can say snapshot which is basically what this PO object here post list dot add post and then cut this code from here and make sure to remove this for loop from here and add this non inserted call so we are just retrieving that single post we are added to the post list and notify data set change now the next thing is to pass this to the post adopter so for that what we're going to do is first let's just call this method here which is retrieve post single post basically that is and now here after this 
we can say post list equals to array list and here let's just copy this line of code also from here instead of writing it copy it just come here and paste it so post adopter post list as array list post and then we set the adopter now this is done now the next thing is how i mean it will know i mean how we will pass this id from here from our profile fragment to this uh, post details fragment so we will do that using shared references so first of all let's say when a user click on this picture as you know that each item carry its own id so we have to share that id using the shared uh, references so for that let's just go to our profile fragment all the actions of it are in our adapter which is by the name my images adapter and here if a user click on the image so we can say holder dot post image dot set on click listener then we can say well editor equal m context dot get shared reference let's call context dot mode private dot edit sorry do not give any extra space here and alongside with that as you know that here we need to receive a id for that specific post so for that what we're going to do we can just say edit dot put string and we can pass this by post id comma and the that id is basically stored inside our so we can say post dot get post id you can say editor dot apply then put these two round brackets and we can say m context as fragment activity dot get support manager dot begin transaction it is get support fragment manager okay get support fragment manager dot begin dot replace or dot id dot fragment now here we have to use our i mean the fragment i just forgot the id of it if you come here to the activity man then we have this fragment container okay so just copy that and paste that fragment container id here put a comma here post details fragment put two on brackets and after this we can write dot commit let's just move it to the next line so that we can see the code easily okay here you can see it now and then on our post detail we have to get that so here we can say well reference is equals context colon dot shared references it is get shared reference context dot mode private If the preferences is not null, not equals to null, then this dot profile. Sorry, we have our post ID. I mean, we have any give it the name post ID for displaying the post picture. Reference dot get string, and here we have to pass the same. Um, I mean this ID which is post ID okay comma none so yeah, that's it now 
let me tell you one thing again i mean here you can see this fragment uh, container it appears that in your case this will not be uh, red i mean it will not display an error now in my case the reason is that i have window 10 and it is from last one year i have not just update my window so maybe it is because of that because it is not getting the reference here you can see it unresolved reference but if we run the application we will not get any error okay so in your case this will not be appearing but if it is then don't worry you just run the application it will do it will it do not it will not crash your app okay let's just run the app maybe it is because of my window it is i mean too much loading when I refresh and rebuild the project earlier but anyways let's just wait for the gradle build it is running now here you can see installing now and the app is about to install here you can see it. the app is running now successfully and you can see that because of this it do not I mean crash the app or no error occur here okay just because of this Tonight I will just update my Windows 10, I mean a new one. So anyways, I mean the app is running now successfully. Let's just go to the profile. Here you can see these are the images and let's just click on this image. Here you can see it, okay? Let's just go back, click on this one. Here you can see it. Wow, this is incredible. We just go back. Okay, here you can see it. I mean you can say that this is incredible so yeah I mean that's it for this video and now in the next here you can see it okay so that's it for this video and in the next tutorial what we will be doing is that we will work on this save icon that is a user will basically from here a user will save any picture if he wants from his followers okay that is let's say from Tony or from Parker when your online user click on the save icon then it will be stored here inside to the saved pictures of this user so yeah I mean that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now